Well, hello, look what I have here. It's the April Scrawler Box. Oh, and today it's really easy to open, the first time. Ooh. What do we have here? It's a little pencil case. It's really cute, by Artline. It's in plastic. Oh, this, oh, that's really cool. There's two ways to open it. Just like a regular pencil case, like this. Or, like if you have a bunch of them. Actually, this is pretty nice if you're gonna go plein air. Because you can hang it somewhere and you can just have everything here like this. I'll show you like this and you can just pick that's really cool easy to clean and we have a stray uh, pencil sharpener made in Germany so probably a good blade oh wow that's very beautiful The artist this month is Lisa, Lisa Kla from Lacry Fine Art. Ah, that makes sense. Very nice. So, it's very possible that we're having color pencils in there. However, it looks like it's a water media, so maybe water soluble color pencils. We'll see. And the paper, well, we have three this month. Um, and it's bent like most of almost every time uh, but it's coming a long way and this looks like some kind of vellum of some sort it has a fine grain this would be nice paper although it's very thin but it would be nice paper for colored pencils so I might be right let's see here and we have oh chopper chops chops cherry sticks huh I didn't know they made other things than lollipops interesting and we have a mapped white peps which is hmm an eraser interesting shape let's open it hmm it's just a an eraser all right <laughs> next Thor went Fine art pencils. Are they the pro colors? Oh, that would be so nice. I've been wanting to try them for a long time. Nope, they're the graphite tint, which I have the full box of, but that's okay. <laughs> so, and that's probably what this is then. Yeah, because I know that um, Lisa has tried them before. So we have, but we have six pencils, which is really a very nice, um, ve very nice range. Cause you do have a white and a black. There's a shadow. So it's like a dark blue, a uh, cloud gray, ivy and aubergine. Anything else in there? Nope, that's it. And the challenge this month is take flight. Thus this. So at least this month the um, 
the picture, the art print that came in the box, does have um, a picture that's done with the, the supplies, which is nice. But, you know, maybe since these are water soluble, um, a brush would have been nice. But that's alright. And I'm guessing because there is an eraser, they should be easily erased. So, this is really cool too. I like that. You can put your pencils in there. Yay! <laughs> anyway, stick around and uh, I'll figure out what to draw. The graphite tint pencils are pretty soft and they lay down easily. And they're basically tinted graphite pencils. So you can't really expect them to be really bright. Uh, they have uh, mostly muted colors. But when you add water to them, the colors pop a little bit more. Not a whole lot more, but you can see the color much better. You can apply them straight on the paper like regular colored pencils and wet them with a brush. Or you can also uh, use the tip of a wet brush and uh, get the pigment from the tip of the pencil and apply it on the paper, kind of like watercolor. But again, don't expect super bright colors. Now because the uh, scroller box menu card indicates that the paper is pretty thin to use with too much water and I knew that I wanted to blend my pencils with water, I decided to use watercolor paper. Now I'm pretty sure that the Norfolk cartridge paper that was included in the box would have worked very well with the uh, colored pencils in a dry state, but again, a bit too thin for too much water. So I used the hot press paper because uh, I knew that with colored pencils I would be able to get more details down on the paper. But now I'm wondering if they would work uh, a bit better on cold press paper because the grain of the paper would just grab more pigment from the pencil and the colors would look brighter. But I'm just guessing, I'm not sure. I must admit that I struggled a bit with the pencils because I'm so used to add a lot of contrast in my drawings. I really like the darks very dark and the, uh, the highlights nice and bright. But because these are muted colors and they're just tinted uh, graphite pencils, this didn't happen and I really had a hard time having a range of value with these. So I added quite a few layers and after almost four hours of struggling with it, I just realized that I couldn't get the shadows any darker. However, I was pretty pleased with the white. I didn't use it with water, I just use it as is for the highlights and I really enjoyed the way it lay down on the paper and the effects that it gave. When I decided that I was done, I was not getting anywhere with the graphite tint pencils. I decided to stop and show you the result of using just the art supplies from the scroller box. But I didn't want it to end right there. I really wanted to continue and improve that drawing. So I grabbed some colored pencils and I deepened the darks and I brought in some highlights. And so now you can see a little improvement with a deeper contrast thanks to the colored pencils. So the graphite tint pencils are pretty fun to use, but I don't think I would ever use them again for a finished drawing. They're really too muted and I really can't get any contrast with them. So I don't like them for that, but I think they would be fun just for quick sketches. I don't know why there was an eraser in the box because those pencils don't erase very easily at all. The, the eraser was really useless with this box. The pencil case is fun. Um, I can't use it for the challenge, but you know, it's a fun little thing to have when you have art supplies to carry around. And I'm going to say my favorite item in this box was the uh, sharpener, sad to say, but it really sharpens very well and it gives um, the pencils a longer point, not too long, but not too short. And I think it's right in the middle. It's just perfect. So at least it was one item that I enjoyed using. Uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you like this video and uh, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.